Yeah, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so we have the well, we have sequence of events here. Okay. Let's see the chronology. Yeah. Stephen Jose was a wealthy Colombian farmer who emigrated to Mexico in 1969. Okay. The farming reforms had begun a few months earlier. If we stop here, it yeah. says the farming reforms had begun a few months earlier. So, so that means this, this is, is part one. Yes. And this is the first one. First sentence is the part two. Because it was emigrated. Yes. To to pass. Emigrated mm -hmm. is in the ED form or the was form. Yes. Had is in the first form. Mm -hmm. So, so if you ask me the sequence of events, it will be the farming farms that began a few months earlier. And Second, after that, he... Stephen Jose was a wealthy Colombian farmer who emigrated to Mexico. Perfect. Right. Yeah. So then it says he moved again in 1975. And made his home in the sp So that means Spain, yeah. he moved again in 1975 should be third event then? Yes. And fourth should be and he and made his home in Spain? Yes. So this should be four? Yeah. But after that he says... He had... Made his, made his fortune. fortune growing cotton okay. again the same thing so right so we'll stop here we'll understand which event is this now so he had made his fortune in growing cotton and he brought his expertise to his new home so he had made his fortune in growing means he did it in mexico yeah so that means this is the third event so this because again yeah this, this happened before he moved to uh, Spain in 1970. Yes, yeah, so this would become third. Yeah. And, and then this would become, would become four. the fourth one. And then, and he bought his expertise. That means after he uh, moved to Spain, mm -hmm. he bought his expertise. Right. In his new home, so that will be the fifth action. So the, he moved to Spain as fifth. He moved to Spain. He moved again in 19 made his home in the Spain yeah, is so the fourth, is fourth one. And then he bought his expertise to new home. And this fifth. part we were saying, this one. Is this is, is mm -hmm. the fifth? So let me just construct it. Yeah. You're saying Stephen Jose was a wealthy Colombian farmer who immigrated to Mexico in 1969. The farming reforms had begun a few months earlier. He moved again in 1975 and made his home in the Spain. Hmm. He had made his fortune in growing cotton and he brought his expertise to his new home. Mm -hmm. So the first part will be, but uh, the farming reforms. Right. Till uh, earlier. Yes. Right. So that becomes your first part. Mm -hmm. The second part is Stephen Jose. Right. Till, Till 1969. 1969. That becomes your part two. Third part is. The third part is he had made his fortune in growing cotton. Right. So he had made his fortune. Made fortune. Till. Till. Cotton. cotton. So that's. Three. Right, and fourth is he moved again. He moved again till Spain. Right. That's fourth. And fifth is. And and he brought his expertise. And he the new home, which is the last part, is the fifth one. Now, what we learn here from this uh, paragraph is that whether you place had in the next sentence or in the first sentence whichever portion has had that means that action happened first happened earlier okay uh, a question mm -hmm. now same same question how would this come in a gmat form there will be a um, uh, sentence say maybe 54 word long sentence or a 13 word long sentence mm -hmm. and it will be uh, underlined mm -hmm. there will be chronology of events mm -hmm. and they might uh, you know illogically place had in a sentence which happened later mm -hmm. so in that case you'll have to see logically which action can happen first like we did the we did the sentence that or not directed place let's let's look at this this example only let me just see if i can if i can remove these markings so that the thing is in this no, everything whatever you do will not uh, you cannot cre create an illogical sentence right no I, i'm just saying let's say if you if you just have this question okay we'll take a part of it okay let's see if we can if we can just remove all these markings and see yeah okay we say uh, uh, Jose had immigrated to Mexico in 1969 yes and moved again in 1975 no sorry he moved, uh, he immigrated to Mexico in 1969 mm -hmm. and had moved again in 1975. Okay, so you're just saying the question is hmm. Stephen Jose was a wealthy Colombian farmer who immigrated to Mexico in 1969. Yes. The farming reforms had begun a few months earlier. We will uh, remove the sen uh, sentence. So let's just cut this off. Okay. 
Let's look at this. Okay. We'll say he had moved again in 1975. And we put a had here. Yeah. Let's say he had moved again, and and made his home in the Spain. Okay. Let's stop till here. Yeah. Now this off. Yes. Let me get this off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now so read the sentence. Stephen Jose was a wealthy Colombian farmer who immigrated to Mexico in 1969. He had moved again in 1975 and made his home in the Spain. And what it, what what does this tell you? So this tell you he had moved again. Had would be earlier an earlier event. Yeah, so that means in 1975. So it tells us that 1975 is before 1969. Yes, and which that is, is which is wrong. Which is illogical. Which is illogical. Which right. is wrong. Right. So that is why you'll have to see, you'll have to remember that whatever the sentence has had, that is the first action. So 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 for from a GMAT perspective, what they might just do is they might mark this one completely. Yeah. And give you five answer choices: A, yeah. B, C, D, E, which might say he moved. Yeah. He, he had, had been had, moving. He had been moving. He had will been. Move. He will move. He, he X Y Z was doing yes, something. Yes. So you have you have to understand. He had moved again 1975 and made his home in the Spain. Would mean that he's done this previous, yeah. uh, uh, prior to his movement of 1969, right. which is illogical. Right. So this is absolutely wrong. So you can remove the first one, like that, and then you can actually say, okay, yeah. he moved would be the right one. That's so let's right. say this is B. A is the same. Right. So he moved would be the right one, and you would put this as the correct. It will save your time because you would know that had is always the first action, so you don't have to go through all the uh, choices. Understood. I mean, it, it, yeah, you will save a lot of time. Mm, yes. Yes. Now, in and I think I think it's an absolute giveaway, but but it's it's a trick. Right. That's it's an right. absolute giveaway. Yeah. So last time we did present perfect tense, and we said and the trick there is that when you see a um, for, uh, in the second portion when you see present uh, tense, yeah. always use the present perfect. Right. So should I make another diagram? No, no, no. It's not for the diagram. You can write it down. Okay. Uh, in the for, uh, you know if in the sentence you find past perfect tense. If so in, in the, the sentence. You know, one portion is in past perfect tense. One portion is in past perfect. Yeah. That is, if, if it has had in it. Is in past perfect. Yes. Right. You in bracket you can write had, had so that you remember. Was there. Yes. Yeah. So then always look for ed form in the second portion. Then always look for. Ed form and cut all those choices that uh, have uh, you know present present form. Second part. That's one. Yeah. Second is eliminate the choices with the present tense. Cut all choices with present present tenses. Which because had cannot go with the present tense. Which have present tenses. Yeah. Right, so we're looking for was or ed form because the first portion is had, so second portion will always be was or ed. Understood. So if in the sentence one portion is in past perfect had mm -hmm. form, uh, then always look for ed form in the second part. Cut all choices which have present tenses. Right. So this is a trick. Perfect. Okay. Thanks a lot. So we are, we are continuing this in the in the next in slide. Next next video now. Perfect. Okay.